Hello everybody, welcome and thank you for your interest in our CDEM steering and suspension products. My name is Harold and I have more than 15 years of experience as a mechanic. Today I will talk about a problem in steering and suspension that occurs frequently with premium brands and multi-link suspension systems. We'll talk about broken silent blocks due to incorrect installation with preload. A silent block that is being installed in the wrong way, meaning the parts are not tightened at the right moment or with the right torque, results in an installation with preload. You should avoid this because preload will lead to a silent block getting prematurely and completely worn out. How can you check the car to see if the silent block has been affected because of preload? This is not easy to see, but here on the lower track control arm for instance, you will see that the silent block rubber is turned in a certain angle, which will lead to rupture and failure of the part. This is an example of a silent block where preload caused failure of the part. The silent block got twisted and the rubber ruptured. As a result, the part will break and the track control arm in which it is mounted will no longer perform as it should. Now, let's go over the steps on how to replace the track control arm with the silent block in the correct way. Firstly, lift the car until the wheels come fully off the ground. Now loosen the nuts and remove the wheel. It makes replacing the track control arm easier when you have more room to move around in with the parts. First loosen the tie rod end and remove the part. Now loosen the nut of the ball joint and detach the part. Clean the seat in which the ball joint rests. Remove the bolt of the silent block and remove the complete track control arm. Mount the new track control arm and install the bolt of the silent block. When installing the bolt and the nut, make sure not to tighten it too much. Tighten it only slightly to avoid preload. Mount the track control arm in the right position and make sure that the ball joint fits in its place. Tighten the nut according to the correct torque prescribed by the manufacturer. Put the tie rod end back and tighten the nut according to the prescribed torque. Now mount the wheel, lower the car until the wheels are resting on the bridge and only then tighten the bolt and the nut of the silent block with the correct torque as prescribed by the car manufacturer. Finally, lower the car and perform an alignment test. Important to know when you replace a worn-out silent block is firstly to install the new part in the correct way without preload. And secondly, starting from a certain mileage, it's better not only to replace this part, but also to replace all of the items in the multi-link suspension with a new kit. Seeing one part is worn out, the rest of the items will most likely also have had the same effect of wear and tear. For more information, please visit the CDEM website www.cdom.eu Thank you for watching and see you next time.